today, I am Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to start with a new VCL Forms application to which I'm going to throw a list view. Now, uh, in building my uh, recording, um, my building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library Part 3, we cover um, T list view. Now, uh, while I was uh, doing that, I discovered an event I hadn't been aware of previously on, on, on TList View. And that event is on um, create item class. And which which has a um, a list view and a item class as parameters. Now this uh, is quite clever. Uh, previously, if you wanted to associate data with a list item, you would use its well, its data property. Uh, well, in fact, it's not even a property; it's 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 a um, effectively a, a pointer. I suppose it is a property, but um, so you you uh, have some sort of class or record, and then have a pointer to that um, record, and you have to do all the memory management and all that kind of stuff yourself manually, which really is a bit of a pain. But what we can do is subclass the item class. So uh, something along these lines. And we can say item class equals t file list item. And we can throw some extra stuff uh, in here, such as file name, size, and modified, something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw a button and a open file dialog, or just an open dialog, and let's turn on multi-select. So. I'm just going to say, if, if we don't, uh, even if we press cancel, we'll uh, exit this um, event. Uh, and so if we do go OK with something selected, we can go for file name in um, files. Should be a string. I don't know why it doesn't detect that as a string, but in any case, um, so we can call add uh, as t file list item, and we can then declare that. And so caption can be assigned um, extract file name file name we can assign the file name property um, and find first file name, any file, and we need a search rec, which we can just declare, just timestamp, which is a new property on search rec. Um, and basically 
depending on whether Windows or Mac. Uh, so it's a cross-platform method, although it really matters in this case. Uh, and we also need to call, call find close. So that's uh, fairly straightforward. And we can run and just confirm that that does indeed work. Ah, oh, and <laughs> what would also be useful is I just about always with list views. Um, uh, let's set the view style property to report. Let's add a new column. Okay, and then we have a bunch of file names. Now, let's just also throw a couple of labels rather lazily on here, and in the on select item. Item select. Um, unselect item. There we go. Um, and we can say. Display the size. Like so. And there we have it showing the modify date and size. So not the uh, most glorious of user interfaces, but it does sort of illustrate the um, how you can take advantage of this uh, create item class, which I'm not actually sure which version of Delphi it was introduced, but it's not in Delphi 2007, which is um, the one I most frequently am using. Um, so if you were unaware of that uh, event, there's probably other stuff you're unaware of in, in um, T list view. And, uh, likely teach review and um, many other components. So um, I would suggest you head on over and uh, to learn Delphi.tv and check out my uh, commercial videos. Um, and, if, and if you're into the, the, the VCL for sort of you know, $120, you can uh, have 18 hours, which would probably take you um, quite a few days to get through. Uh, it's very, very densely packed information. And of course, XML and tclient data set. And my latest one is um, using sort of uh, the data wear controls in the VCL. So um, thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.